All right, quick episode. On my way home yesterday, I stopped by a local thrift store to look for a little frame for my girlfriend. She needed a frame and I found it for $2.99, that was good. But I also found these. I saw all of them, all these homers, and I picked up the lot thinking, I need to make a quick little episode on this. I mean, it's not every day you see a lot like this, a collection like this at a thrift store, at an estate sale or anything. I mean, I've, I've never seen the Simpson collection in the wild. They were just right there in front of me. So let's just look over them real quick. Most of these figurines here are part of the At Home with Homer collection. Although we have one that's part of the Misadventures of Homer sculpture collection and another one that's part of the Springfield Citizens sculpture collection. I paid $9.99 a piece. There are a total of 15 here. So I spent $150. And like always, I check them out, what they go for online and on eBay under the sold listings, they're going from anywhere from 15 to $30 per figurine. And honestly, each of them just captures Homer's personality, the essence of Homer. If you flip them over and look on the other side, each figurine has the name of the piece, which collection it's from, and they also have the sculpture number handwritten on them. They're all produced in the early 2000s, around 2004, 2005, produced in China, but surprisingly, they're very well made. A couple of these pieces have a few broken parts, but they all, they're all taped to them, so if someone wanted to, they could just glue them back. They are relatively heavy, weighing between 200 and 300 grams each, but I'm not sure what material they're made out of. Might look like some sort of plaster or ceramic, but I'm unsure. The painting job is really well done. And honestly, the more I study them, the more I like them. I mean, damn. This is a great start to a collection because I know there's plenty more homers out there. Ugh. I really wish I could keep every cool thing I buy, but I, I can't. Um, I I'll turn into a hoarder. So I'm thinking about listing them on eBay and I'll be selling them as a lot and, and hopefully a collector stumbles upon them and buys, buys them all. Yeah, I, I know I could piece them up and sell them individually, make more money, but that's that's not why I'm doing this. I'm not trying to make money on these pieces. And and honestly, I think it's a shame to, to break up a collection. I mean, if I can just break even, or I'm hoping at least $2.99 in profits, that's a win because that means that I got the frame for free. But we'll see. This one right here is definitely my favorite. Stud in training, it says. Freaking love it. And I actually posted a picture of this lot on one of the subreddits, just a little show and tell there as well. And people loved it. Got my first Reddit award on that post. So, <clears throat> hell yeah. Thank you to whoever that was. All right, there you have it. Just a quick little show and tell. I hope you like them. They're, they're pretty sweet. Really happy with that find. And, and hopefully they find a good new home. So. If one of you guys end up getting them, I'm very happy for you. All right, cool. Back to editing. Stay timeless.